What is up my good friends, it is your old pal Closet Gamer back again for some more Age of Engineering, that is right, how are you doing today? And it is episode 73, yes 73, sounds good to me, um, I am just uh, working on some short mead, that is right. Um, so what I've done over here is uh, I've got some centrifuges set up and I've got, uh, I went and got all of the uh, dripping comb from my uh, bees, uh, which had run in for quite a while they've produced quite a lot of dripping comb and i've got that on uh, uh, always keeping in stock on this uh, me interface here which is then going into these centrifuges uh, it doesn't get um, honey drops every single time i think it's like a uh, i think it's like a 40 percent uh, is it 40 percent yeah 40 percent chance to get a honey drop but every now and then it gets one and i've got two running here then it goes back into the me system and it comes over to these squeezers here which then turn it into honey and feed into this chest, or not this chest, this fluid tank here. Then that gets sucked out, goes into here. Um, I've got fertilizer and honeydew. Uh, and when we get enough honey, uh, I think it's, um, what is it? I think it's 100 millibuckets. Let's just check. 100 millibuckets. So we are making short mead which is this one. So you need 500 millibuckets, give you 500 millibuckets of short mead. And then it's going out here into these elite fluid tanks. And uh, so far, so good. Um, yes, these are both equally full. Um, so I'll just leave that running and uh, it will go through, uh, it's going through this fairly quickly. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough uh, dripping comb, um, but it will be close. I mean, in terms of dripping comb, uh, we've got quite a bit because our bees have been doing the stuff for us. We've got 282 left. I did have about 500, so it, yeah, we might we might need to up our bee production, uh, but um, we'll keep an eye on it and uh, we'll see how we do. Now, um, that's that explained. Now, today I want to focus on uh, empowered oil. Yes, that's right. Um, so, for the other parts of our creative vending upgrade, which we are working towards right now. Uh, we need two of these flu uh, creative fluid tanks, which we're doing. Um, so the biodiesel we've got, I've moved it from over there. This is going to be our little wall where we keep all of our uh, fluids. So once we get to, uh, once we run out of space here uh, and we go on to the fifth one, then we know that we've got the right amount of stuff for our creative vending upgrade. That's right. Very, very snazzy, I think. Um, so the other thing that we need, uh, we've got the biodiesel. We need to do the vapor of levity. I need to do that. Um, I need to do the IC2 hot coolant, um, need to do the empowered oil, and got the short mead that's going now. Uh, so the empowered oil is uh, is pretty, it's not too bad in terms of, uh, in terms of how we're going to do it. I've got a plan. Um, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to repurpose these because I don't really need these to be doing anything at the moment because uh, we've got our biodiesel that we needed to get. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this for a moment. What I need to do is to probably repurpose these cloches um, and turn them into canola cloches. Uh, so what I'll do is get rid of that for a sec. And I'll probably do the same with all of these because uh, it makes sense to reuse the stuff that we've already got. So let's do this. Let's uh, get rid of all these. Get all these good, good, good. And then finally this one. And then what we'll do is, uh, because we've got this much uh, hemp seeds, uh, what I'll do is I'll trash these ones that are in there. And that should empty these out. Can't we see how many's in there at the moment? Uh, but that should trash those. Uh, albeit quite slowly, it'll trash them, I think. Right, that one's empty, that one's empty. That's got string in it now. Hold shift. There we go. Um, so, yeah, that's emptying out. So that's going to take a few seconds to empty. Um, and hopefully uh, we've got some canola seeds in our inventory somewhere. Let's have a quick look. Canola. Yes. Nice. So let me grab these uh, and we'll put all these in our inventory as well. Uh, now what we want to do is repurpose these guys to get them growing canola. Nice. We'll get rid of those. 
we'll chuck those in the inventory as well because we can use that hemp fiber to make string so that's pretty good it's still useful uh, we can use, also use it to make wool as well uh, and we've got another th like four cloches over here they're making watermelons but um, I don't really think that we need those so like this nice excellent okay now um, all of this stuff uh, we're going to avoid that as well so let's go extract on you always active and then that should start emptying out into the uh, into the trash yes good 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 so there is a filter on there so we're not going to be losing any of the canola um, what I might want to do is we'll have this for the canola yeah that for the canola and then we'll have the seeds hmm. so the seeds need to come out as well because we need to use the seeds for our um, for our system that we're going to make so our system that we're going to make we're going to have um, the canola itself making canola oil uh, and then go into a bunch of uh, fermenting barrels to make normal oil. The canola seeds themselves are going to go to uh, an atomic reconstructor and be turned into, uh, what is it they get turned into? I can't quite remember. So reconstructor, they get turned into crystallized uh, canola seeds, which will then go to an empowerer to make empowered canola seeds. Uh, we will need to use some of the crystallized canola seeds to make crystallized canola oil uh, with the oil as well. And then we'll need to use the empowered canola seeds to make empowered canola oil and uh, it's going to be a little bit of a complicated setup but I don't think it's going to be too bad now what I might need to do actually is uh, let's get some packing tape and get rid of these drawers because or actually what we could do is a uh, is some two tier drawers or some two by two drawers uh, and I've got two of them um, and I've also got something else maybe no not got any other drawers Okay, well we'll just get away with, uh, we can make another drawer if we wanted to. Perfect, okay. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll come over to where we were, over to this way. I can hear you, witch. I can hear you and I don't like what you're saying to me. Let's get some, some packing tape. I quite like the noises that witches make. I think they're quite funny. Right, let's get rid of this one. I just don't want canola everywhere, that's all. Okay, and then this one as well. And we'll do that one as well. Uh, maybe we could use our drill actually, that'd be faster, won't it? Nice. Cool, right, okay, so what we need to do is uh, get our frame drawers, like that. Uh, and then we'll get the canola in the top and uh, the seeds there and what we'll probably do is get a key actually and let's lock those up so they can't get changed otherwise we might get canola in the top and canola in the bottom when in fact what we want is uh, seeds in one and uh, canola in the in the other there we go so we'll lock that one that's fine uh, and then we need to do, to do the same on this one and then probably get one of these guys We'll do the same on this one. There we go. Good. Excellent stuff. I like it. Right. Um, so what we need to do is to drain this out of here. Um, so I'm wondering if we should just maybe get a um, maybe get this fluid tank here. Um, and I'm wondering if that's going to even put a dent in this. There's quite a lot in there. That's probably going to... Uh, I wonder if we've got a trash can. Have we got a trash can? For fluids? Nope. Uh, we should have one. We should be able to make one. Trash can, fluids. Nice. What we'll do is... Because uh, I want to reuse this, actually. We'll set that to push push into there please this is fluid yes push into there okay 
Uh, maybe like this then. So extract. Always active. And this is, yeah, draining. Good. Excellent. Okay, that's going to drain from there. Um, so this should start emptying out now. Um, and then we should see canola oil starting to come into here. Yeah, and it's draining. Good. Um, so what we need to do is to probably get rid of this. So let's get rid of this guy for a sec. That's excellent. I probably need to get rid of this because it will be full up with uh, plant oil instead of canola oil. So that's slowly making canola oil, which is very, very good. Uh, what I need to then do is probably get my fermenting barrels. Uh, fermenting barrels. Um, and we made quite a few, didn't we, if you remember. Four are... I think ten should be plenty. We made quite a few for our um, oil burning generators that we had a while ago, do you remember? So I probably actually I'd probably just have nine and I'll just do like this. And I think do these need power? I don't think these need power. I think we'll go like that. And uh, what's going on here? This is just a generator, so that can go. Um, and then we'll just come around here. And we'll turn this off. And we will extract from you. Good, so that will start filling up with oil. Excellent, okay, so we've got oil sorted, okay? Um, we've got oil sorted, that's gonna be plenty of oil, I believe. Um, what we'll do is we'll put these on. And we'll set all these to, I think they're already extracting always active. Looks like they are anyway. Good, good. Um, what we need to do is we need to bring um, out the seeds now. Uh, so the seeds are what we need. And uh, what we'll do, we need to filter those. I'll probably bring those out to um, a crate or a chest or something. Just as an interim thing. So let's get a chest. There's more than one witch. Where? <laughs> Where? Are you this way? Are you through here? Down here? Over here. Where are you? God damn it. As soon as I start looking for them, they stop. Sons of a bitch. Right. No more getting distracted by witches now, okay? I promise. Um, so what do we need to do? What was we doing? Um, let's get our chest. Okay. And uh, what we'll do is we'll bring... The canola, like, round here. Or the canola seeds, I should say. So, let's come off here. Let's get a normal filter. I don't really want to waste an advanced filter on, on this. Because uh, it's only going to be one item. Um, so, let's grab maybe uh, one of these. And we'll put that on there. Like that, as the whitelist. Good. Um, so, now, that there like that, then this should start getting a fairly decent amount of canola seeds. Um, I'm not sure if the amount of canola oil is going to be sufficient for these. I've just realised the error of my ways. I didn't set these to insert only. So now they're full up with um, oil instead of, uh, instead of canola oil, which is a big problem. So I'm just going to address that and uh, fix these. I'll be back in a sec. Right, that's those guys fixed. They're all getting a steady amount of oil now. What, is, what a rookie error. Speaking of rookie errors, uh, don't hit a chest with a wrench because they turn around. Do, do, do. Right, okay. Now, what we need to do is uh, probably get um, another atomic reconstructor uh, because what we need to do is uh, turn these 
uh, seeds into um, crystallized canola seeds. Um, so it would help if I was in the right thing. So let's get one of these. Um, we're also going to need um, a pressure plate. So um, I wonder if I've got a pressure plate. Do I have a pressure plate? I've got stone pressure plate. I've got, why have I got 253 stone pressure plates? Jesus Christ. Uh, just a normal pressure plate will do for us. And then we seem to be out of wood. As always, with the friggin' wood. Right, okay, so here's what's going to happen. Um, so we're going to have, actually, no, what we need is a, uh, a precision dropper as well. Um, in fact, I might even have one. I've got one of you, precision droppers. Got one, but we're going to need another couple of these. Uh, we're going to need like another three of these. No, another two of these. And uh, they're not the easiest thing in the world to make. Let's get some more of these because I know I'm going to need a few of these as well. And uh, some advanced coils as well. Now these we we have got on craft. Okay, so another one of these. Uh, we're probably gonna, yeah, we're going to need three. We're going to need three for what what I've got planned. Um, so the uh, the seeds are going to come out of here. They are going to go to a um, precision dropper, which is going to be in the floor. So we just need to make a little bit of a hole in the floor. And uh, I kind of want to bring it out into this area over here, uh, just so it's nice and out in the open. Um, so let's run these like around here at the moment. I'm just going to do it above ground because it's not going to be here forever. It's only whilst we get this uh, empowered oil sorted. So let's have it set up like this. Let's go just into the ground here. Let's have this precision dropper set there. What we need to do is to get a redstone torch and uh, hopefully I've got a redstone torch knocking about somewhere. What are we saying? 97 of them? That's pretty good. Um, and let's get rid of that for the moment. Uh, we need to set this to pulse mode. Yes, pulse mode. Let's put the pressure plate on top and uh, if we want it on pulse mode now we want it to act deactivation mode, that's about. So this is going to be insert and then this is going to be extract always active but we're not going to turn it on just yet otherwise there will be canola flying all over the place. Um, so atomic reconstructor is going to go in there. Now what will happen is uh, the canola will pop up and it will go onto this pressure plate and it will switch uh, the atomic reconstructor on, but it won't do it at the moment because we've got no power. We need a crystal um, from Ender IO. Or actually, have I got any power knocking about around here? Um, I've got power, but it's behind there. Um, it'll probably just be easier to use a relay crystal and a normal crystal on there like that. So let's grab this guy. Let's put. Um, a relay crystal just on the roof of there for the moment and then one like that let's link that to that that should be getting RF now and let's link this one to this guy and then let's set you to output mode now that should be getting the stuff yes Let's set that guy to pulse. Then that will, every time we stamp on it, it will go like that. Good. Now what we can do is we can start to extract always active on here. And it will start turning those into crystals. Good. Now let's turn this off for the moment because we don't really want that running yet. It'll be a bit too quick for us. Please. What are you doing? Oh, it's because you've got some in stock. Okay, right, um, we need the range collector. Um, what we might be able to do actually is use this range collector over here. And I think that will probably be close enough. So let's see if that works. Extract always active. Mm, it's not close enough, never mind. So extract with signal on there. OK, 
come on, magnet, magnet, please, please stop. I thought I stopped you. One minute. Please stop. Yeah, I think these guys got a range of six, and it's it's one block too far from it. So we're gonna have to use another one. Um, so let's set this guy. I wanna. The trouble is. Um, what I'm what I'm sort of contemplating is that when this comes out here, the crystallized canola will be picked up by the range collector. But then we're going to need to drop the crystallized canola in front in into the oil over here. I don't want the range collector to be to interfere with that, so I need to set it back a little bit away from it. Um, so let's put those there, and now this should be okay. It should all uh, should automate this fairly well. So. Always active. There you go, it's picking it up now. Perfect! Nice. That's going to make us a steady little supply of uh, crystallized canola there. Um, I'm going to turn that off though, otherwise it's going to drive, drive me mad. And it's also going to fill this, uh, fill up that buffer pretty quick, and then we'll have canola literally everywhere. So we'll turn that off for the moment. Um, right, now the crystallized canola uh, needs to come out of here. And let me make sure we need to not press that. Crystallized canola needs to go um, into the oil. So we've got oil over here. Now what we need to do is to get um, a couple of things. Um, some fluid places and some fluid collectors. So fluid collector is uh, fairly easy to make, I believe. Um, so fluid placer first. Let's do the places first. Um, so I wonder if we've got any auto places. No, we do not. And do we have any basic coils? No, we do not. So let's get quite a few of these because they're a pain. Um, and then we should be able to do a couple of these. Let's get four of these. Yes, because we're going to need two fluid places and two fluid collectors for this. So let's get uh, two fluid places and let's get two fluid collectors. Okay, did I um, did I forget something? I need an auto breaker as well. So this one like that, good. Um, so the placer. Uh, we're going to have to put the fluid in front of it. So why don't we put the placer like here. Let's put the placer there. Well, we can put the placer there, and then what we'll probably have to do is put another block underneath it. So let's get this like that. And then let's whiz back upstairs to here. Now, um, so our oil is going to come into the fluid placer, so we need to get our pressurized conduit and uh, come off here. And round here like this. So that's going to be insert. Uh, we won't connect it just yet because uh, it will make things go a bit crazy. And actually no it won't, we can connect it, it's fine. Um, we need it to be connected anyway because we need to train our scanner to know uh, that this is oil. Okay, <laughs> and uh, don't worry, all will be clear fairly soon. So I need to put another block there actually. Right, now uh, here's what we need to do. Uh, we need to get rid of that block that's underneath there which will cause a bit of a flood for a moment and then put a precision dropper here okay it needs to be facing up as well like that good and then this needs to be set to pulse mode so where's our redstone torches pulse mode good okay then we need to get our scanner um, and I'm wondering what this actually uses because I've 
used it in a test setup, uh, but not in here. So we need a couple of scanners. Um, actually, we need four scanners in total. Jesus Christ, my inventory is really bad today. I apologize. Apologize profusely. Um, right now, we need to train this scanner. Um, and scanners are pretty good. Scanners can uh, detect uh, what blocks in front of them. And it, luckily, it will detect fluid. So at the moment, it's trained to uh, emit a redstone signal. Or it's actually trained to uh, detect air. If we set it to the current block, it will detect oil. And uh, then I think this symbol, whatever the friggin' hell that is, uh, means it's going to emit a redstone signal when it uh, when it receives or when it sees that block in front of it. Right, so we need to come down here, um, and then we need to uh, we need to fix this up. So what we need to do is to probably get some redstone conduit, um, which I think I've got some. I've got some redstone conduit. Yes, quite a lot of redstone conduit. Let's put that back in there. Um, let's clean out some of this crap. I mean, Jesus Christ! There's no excuse for this. No excuse whatsoever. Is that a little bit better? It's not really a lot better. Info calculator, that's been in my inventory for about the past four episodes. <laughs> right, so uh, this guy needs to receive a redstone pulse from this guy. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't like connect straight away, so you need to come around and uh, give it a little uh, knock with the wrench like that. Um, and then set that to, yes, 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 that should be okay. So once that detects, whoops, once that detects the canola oil, that should, and I've rotated it wrong, like that. That will emit a redstone pulse, okay? So um, let's put something there just to test. Let's put a filter in there. Yeah, that's worked. So it, uh, the pulse has gone through uh, because it's detected the oil and it's placed the block, so that's pretty good. So what we need to do now is to come over to here uh, and let's extract on, uh, let's say, blue on this one, always active. Uh, and then this is going to come around here like this. Nice. Uh, and then what we can do is to, um, we can come, say we come down the bottom here. Like this into this guy over here. Um, we can come down. Yeah, we can come down here like this, and then we can go into this guy, and we can go insert on blue. That will start getting the crystallized canola seeds. Now, what will happen is, um, I'll keep putting this up here. It's a really bad idea to keep moving that around. Uh, that will, or it should, pulse. Yes. And then what we need to do is to get our next scanner. And uh, we need to train this one to detect crystallized oil. Okay. And then um, what we need to do is to get our fluid collector and set it so that it will receive, when it receives a signal, it will pick up the uh, crystallized fluid. And it's already doing it. Uh, but what we need to do is to deactivate that, otherwise it might get full up with uh, the wrong type of stuff. Let's set that to pulse. Okay, so that's got crystallized oil in it right now. So then between these two, we need to set a redstone, um, have a redstone signal as well. Um, so let's go like this out of here. So there we go. Look, that's making nice. And it's automated it as well. That's pretty good. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to get the crystallized canola turned into empowered canola and to do that we need to use our empower so let's grab our empower um, and we need to set that back up again I haven't used this guy for quite a while so empower and uh, so he can go um, well he can just go here I suppose that's fine and then we need um, the uh, pedestals or what are they called they're actually additions aren't they so what are they called display stands, pedestals, I don't know what I was talking about. Um, they need to go two away from each side, so like this, and then like this. Nice, okay. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about making them look fancy. I just want it to work, and I want it to work relatively quickly so we don't have to wait ages for our canola. 
So let's get some power into these guys. Nice. 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 So they're getting the power. Uh, well, they will be getting the power once I turn them into output mode. Nice. Good. Okay, so that's that bit set up. And then um, what we need to do is uh, we need to have... Uh, so this is delivering canola seeds. We need to uh, distribute some of those canola seeds into these as well. And then we also need to distribute some of the crystallized canola into these as well. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll set um, this as a higher priority than that. And then that will always make sure that there's a, a crystallized canola seed on that pedestal there. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, let's have let's have this coming around here, and then going on to here. And this is going to be insert on blue, and it's going to be on a slightly higher priority than the insert on blue that is uh, on this guy over here. So this guy underneath here is insert on blue as well. Uh, but we want this to be a slightly higher priority so that uh, we always get a steady flow of empowered canola. And uh, these guys aren't sitting here waiting whilst this one hogs all of the um, all of the crystallized canola, okay? Um, now what we need to do as well is um, this guy here is gonna be getting the canola seeds and they need to be shared amongst these ones here as well. Uh, so let's um, maybe go like this. Now, what channel is this actually inserting on? It's inserting on green. So it's coming from over here and it's uh, inserting on green. Good. Uh, so these guys uh, need to be uh, green as well. So let's do this. Let's have this insert on green. Insert on green. Insert on green. And then insert on green. Good. So that should be okay. Now what I need to do is uh, this bit getting a bit of a mess, uh, but let's set this to extract always active. And we should see some stuff start happening. So let's set these to um, a higher priority because uh, I think that the, the internal inventory of this uh, dropper is hogging all the stuff. So if we set these to a slightly higher priority, then it should make sure that these get what they need to get. Yes, and yes, uh, and then we need to change this back to uh, pulse mode. There we go, that will start empowering that. Nice. So the extract on here needs to be on a different channel. So let's do this on purple, always active. And that needs to come into uh, the next one along. So we've got our, basically we've got our, our empowered canola uh, going on here. Then what we need to do is maybe uh, sort of have our next one um, over this way a little bit. So let's get the uh, fluid placer here. Um, we'll probably put him just like here. I would have liked to have it lined up, but I don't really want to move that about. Uh, so let's go uh, fluid placer there. Yeah, good. Uh, and then we need to use our scanner there. And we're basically just going to do exactly the same thing as what we've just done. We seem to be struggling a little bit for um, canola seeds, and I think that's because the inventories for these guys are blocked. Yes, they are. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll put a... Well, what we can do is we can utilize this filters on here. Um, we can put the canola on there and we'll set the priority for lower here uh, and then we can trash the stuff that we don't need 
So that should get rid of the stuff that we don't need. Uh, but it will always make sure that this is, this is stocked up with canola. Uh, but it will just trash the uh, trash the ones that are excess and allow the canola to start coming through. Well, it all seems to be working pretty damn well now, actually. And um, the only thing is, is um, I've so I've removed the redstone signal coming from um, this guy that is looking for oil, um, and I've just set this. Uh, dropper to just output all the time um, the trouble is it's it's not the most ideal solution because uh, I would prefer to have it automated fully um, but it does kind of it tends to stick um, what it's doing is it's sending a constant redstone pulse or a constant redstone signal rather than a pulse now we could use like a sequencer um, that is kicked off by um, a, a constant signal to uh, to send that pulse uh, but for the amount of oil that we're going to be making, um, I mean, we're almost we're almost at uh, the amount that we need. So it really is not worth it. I mean, we're half full on this one, um, and we're probably about two thirds full on this one as well. Um, so I'll just keep an eye on it and then just reset it whenever I need to, and then just turn it all off because uh, that's what we're, that's the uh, sort of level that we're at now. We're just um, just doing the last few bits and pieces. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and if you have then uh, please leave a like and a comment it will be much appreciated and I will see you guys next time where we will look at automating the vapor of levity and possibly the IC2 hot coolant as well. Okay so I will see you guys next time.